Welcome back to Rob Daily TV. I'm of course Rob and I'm going to be reacting today to super racist British comedy. Now in the description it just says British comedy before political correctness so I'm guessing this is quite back in the day. Some of it might just go over my head, things that were before my time, but Looks like it's going to be offensive, funny, so if you're a snowflake, you can do one while the rest of us have a laugh. And yeah, if I get banned, well, you know why. Hello, Mr. Garnet. Hello. I'm just saying to Marigold. Hey, I'm... hey, let's have the Marigold. It's Winston, if you don't mind. <laughs> All right, Gongadin. <laughs> <laughs> the immigrants. I'm sorry I couldn't make it this morning, Buana, but I had to go to Heathrow, meet my cousin. Oh, bloody marvellous. They're flying them in now. <laughs> What's the hurry? Couldn't you get on a banana boat? <laughs> he fixed himself up with a job. I had to I'm go and meet him, show him his dig. Oh, bloody. Four million unemployed, they're flying his cousin in. <laughs> What's he, a brain surgeon? Bricklayer. <laughs> Bricklayer? Has he got his own odd? <laughs> He likes to fly. I like to fly. I fly whenever I can. I flew up to Manchester when West Ham played up there. I flew up to Liverpool with them. I fly oh, a lot of away games I do. Marvellous. Hey, Jet Setters working for the local council now. <laughs> Half ounce of some Bruno. Hey, Mrs. Ollenbury smells that. You won't be safe. You'll be in for a hot time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and if the coppers smell what you're going to be smoking, mate, you'll be in for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Garnet, I'm uh, very, very sorry to hear of the loss of your wonderful good lady. Uh, sorry business. Yeah, well, happens to all of us, don't it? Oh, yes. But it was a very sad loss to me. It's a very sad loss to me, mate. <laughs> oh, yes, oh, yes. But I have lost a very good customer. And I have lost a very good wife. Oh, yes, oh, yes. But, but, but it was a bad blow to me, her going like that, so sudden. It was a very bad blow to me at all. <laughs> oh, yes, very bad blow. But, but, but it has done me no good, her going like that, so sudden. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> well, uh, uh, she went owing me a few pounds. <laughs> That's a nice thing to say. Is that all he's thinking about? Not saying anything? Maligning the woman, now she gone? Mary Gold, I am not maligning her. I'm not saying anything against her. All I am saying is, if Mrs. Garnet had gone on Saturday instead of Wednesday, <laughs> I'd be all right. Because, you see, she always paid me Friday. Well, I don't suppose she wanted to go on Wednesday. <laughs> If she'd had her way, she'd have preferred to wait till Saturday. Or even longer. If I'd had my way, she wouldn't have gone at all because I'm the one who's in a mess with that bloody thing living upstairs to me. I mean, you don't think she went on a Wednesday just to do you out of a few quid, do you? I, I, I'm not saying that. All I'm saying is, it has cost me money. It's cost me money, Sabu! <laughs> it cost me our pension and what you got for sitting in that wheelchair of us. Uh, yes, 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 I'm sure. But her going on Wednesday is no good to me. It is just my luck. Just your luck? What about my bloody luck? What do you think about himself? <laughs> oh, my God, I am not blaming her. Mrs. Garnet was a very good customer and a very good pair. All I am saying is... He knows. He comes into the shop. He takes the groceries. Put them on the sleigh. Mrs. Garnet will pay you later. And she did. She always paid you. Not now. She cannot pay me now. That is what I am saying, Sambo. <laughs> <laughs> this one orders. This marigold orders. Put on the slate, put on the slate, put on the slate. And then she passes on. But it's not my fault, is it? 
I'm not saying it is your... Well, why are you telling me, then? What does Mr Garnet owe you? Mr Garnet don't owe nothing. Mr Garnet owes for this tobacco. That's all Mr Garnet owes for. Well, what Mrs Garnet owes? What Mrs Garnet owed, Mrs Garnet owes. I'm thinking <laughs> this would happen. A silver of you come along say my Mrs owes you money. I mean, God, bloody... Where's your proof, eh? I mean, any old Tom, Dick, Harry come knocking in the front door saying your wife owes the money, especially if she's passed on, she's not there to deny it to the face. What proof have you? That's what I'm talking about. Proof, mate. Bills. Bills, mate. That's what I want to see is bills signed. Bills and statements. Signed statements with signatures on them. If there's no receipts, it didn't happen. <laughs> That's how we do business in this country, John John. <laughs> signatures, not by ESA. I want to take my custom elsewhere from now on. From now on, I buy British. <laughs> what do you think I am? Bleeding Japanese? <laughs> <laughs> that was something. I don't know what show that was from. Or what time. I'm guessing maybe 70s or 80s. I'm trying to place the time, you know, based on the jokes and that. But I think a lot of them went over my head, to be honest. I think just some of them were just before my time and they just kind of went over my head. But it was quite funny. They were just taking the mech out of each other, stereotyping each other. And, um... Well, stereotyping themselves as well, to be honest. But, like, no one was, like, getting offended. No one was cancelling each other back then. It was just... Just jokes. Just silliness. But, yeah. Let me know if you made it through without getting offended. <laughs> uh, let me know what you thought of this. If there's anything you want to see on my channel, let me know. If you have already asked me to react to certain things that I haven't, and that I haven't responded, then just remind me, because... I've had a few requests, I keep getting them, so I might have just forgotten some. If I've not replied to you, if I've not uploaded, just remind me and I'll get back to you with my next upload.